right, so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys how to use a retentive timer. Really, just how to set it up, how it's gonna work, so that way you can apply it to different situations. Now, a retentive timer will store the amount of time that it has going on the timer. So remember how in the uh, TON and TOF, that the rung had to stay true for it to con or to time. And if you you know let the rung become false, the timer would reset. Well, that's not going to happen with the RTO. It's going to retain that time base or that preset or accumulation, I guess. So I'm just going to kind of show you how to use that. Where you would use this would be any time you want a certain event to happen on a time schedule. So maybe I want to change a filter every three days or I want to have a shift change every hour or you want maybe you, you're going to do the break alarm for your you know your production workers or maybe they need to come in and oil all the grease circs or I'm not oil all the grease circs maybe they need to come oil all the bearings or something at an, an hour interval or a filter needs to be changed like I said there anytime you need to do something like that that's where an RTO is going to be used so you will use these quite a lot um, they're not like the other timers they do get set up the same way where they they have a the actual timer and you're going to use outputs based on that timer so remember that data table we're going to have uh, done bits timer timing and I, I believe you can do a timer enable but it's not very popular with this particular timer so i have a couple instructions set up here um, those are just so i don't have to address while we're talking there's nothing special about that this is a green light this is just a push button okay um, so we're going to come up here to the timers tab and we're going to grab our RTO, retentive timer on delay. We're going to put it over here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to address this just like it was any other timer. So it's going to be T4 colon zero. I'm going to set the time base to one second because I always like to do it one second. And then we're going to put about 15 seconds in here for the preset. So this is how long it's going to time for. And this last number, um, we're not. We're just going to leave it zero. And this one's going to tell us how much time is actually gone by, or that the rung has been true. Okay. So again, we can take instructions, and we can base it off of this timer over here. So this one will be T4. Oops, hit the wrong button. Colon zero slash DN. Okay. So when this timer is done, when this timer over here is done it will turn on this instruction and it will turn on my light. So we're gonna go ahead and go online while we're talking here. And I wanna show you guys how this is going to work so that you can kind of get a little bit better image. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to reset this timer. So I'm gonna press my on off button here. When I press it, I want you to watch this accumulation here. Notice it starts counting. As soon as I let off the button, it stops counting, but it keeps that, that preset or accumulation, I'm sorry, in, in that value. So it's holding that time. So again, we're gonna press the button and it's gonna continue counting. And if I let off, it will keep that number in there. We're gonna go all the way to 15 this time. And I want you to see what happens when it, it finishes. You see that the done bit came on and then the uh, the light came on. Notice I'm still holding the button down. I'm gonna let off the button, so the, the rung is now false. It did not reset my timer. So what we're gonna need to do is I'm gonna go offline, I'm gonna show you guys how to reset timers. We talked a little bit about this before. Uh, let me see if I can get a, come on. Let's see if I can get a rung down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another button in here, and this button will be the reset button. Uh, let me just, check it looks like i can put it on uh, not t huh i colon zero slash three and this one will be our reset we can go ahead and hit okay so what happens is we're going to reset this timer so we need to put a reset in here so this res is a reset it's just going to be treated like any other output we're going to code it or address it i keep saying coding i'm sorry um to a four colon zero so this has the same address as this timer and as this instruction over here. So when I reset this one, it's going to reset this timer up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the time base. That way we don't have to sit and wait for 15 seconds just to reset it, set it to five, and then we're gonna go ahead and download again. Awesome, so I'm gonna hold this button down it's gonna start timing. 
Awesome, so our light is on. I'm gonna hit the reset button. It resets the timer, just like that, okay? Again, you cannot turn the rung from true to false to reset the timers, just like with the TON and the TOF. This one always has to be done this way, okay? You can do this same style with the TON and TOFs, but it, it's a lot more work because you just, honestly, you could just take this instruction and put it up in this rung for a TON or TOF and just break that, that path of true. So let's go ahead and we're gonna build this exact circuit. Um, and I want you guys to show me its operation, walk me through it, get comfortable with this one, really get used to it. You are gonna build some labs that are quite complex and we're gonna throw an RTO in there. So you guys are gonna get some, some more experience, but I want you to kind of figure out how it works right now. Um, while it's a little bit lower stress. So go ahead, get that built, give me a video, and let me know if you guys have any questions. Good luck.